Hi guys, Void of Dust Gaming here, and today I want to show you a really special Lugu Boo Lubu gameplay. Um, it was a defeat. We lost the game, but it was one of the most intense games that I've ever played in Arena of Valor. It was one of those games where you thought that you could actually die every second in the game, and the tide of the battle went back and forth. Um, the enemy having lots of opportunities. The go game went really bad at the beginning. Like we had to take a 0-5 kill loss at the at the start of the game. Then we kind of came back. Then the enemy came back. And so it is a game full of emotions and full of crazy situations. Like with the first death that I received was pretty much the, a really stupid thing. But be prepared for the game where I was playing Lubu and during the middle of the game I was actually playing quite well. So first first off um, I had seen in the loading screen that there's plenty of damage within the enemy team. Uh, they've got Darcy, they have also Yawn who's able to dish out uh, loads of damage as well and I thought okay which ability am I going to take first and I was opting for the for the first as it gives me some movement and I was really lucky that I took it here because I did not expect Darcy and Yorn being on the Slayer lane. No um, I was expecting Yorn by himself but that Darcy was already roaming down leaving the middle out in the open. I did not expect that to happen. And as you can see on the top, um, Telenos and um, Vera are roaming to the top, so they've got they've got Aram, they've got Vera, they've got Yorn, they've got Telenas. Pretty pretty strong um, a base ability team. Loads of loads of stuff coming in on us, and the first blood is just a good example of how much damage they do. And you will see it right now. Like look at the look at the death counter. Uh, you see that there's Tulon up there, there's Rug up there, and next defeat, Vera killed Grug, and whilst uh, Aram was defeated, Vera is able to score the double kill, and I'm barely able to get out of that situation alive. Um, now. Our Zephyr is camping the top of the bot lane with me, but there's not much that I can do or that Xanus could do, Zephyr could do because Yon is just retreating back to safety. Like being pretty much unharmed, um, I'm able to get into tower range here. But Yon is camping next to the tower. Made a pretty pretty good roaming here, going out of Zephyr's damage area or his his threat range. And this is where I start to do stupid things, like I see that Zephyrs is damaging them here and I thought that I could actually do something, but with the Darcy and with Yorn and with Vera teleporting back, I was easily killed here, like that could have been avoided, I don't know what got me into that situation, why I thought that I could actually do something here, and right now I'm just going for... Um, the Gilded Greaves because they have a lot of crowd control. They've got the stun from Vera, they've got the slow from Darcy, they've got the slow from Aram's ability as well. So, loads of CC. And as I took Execute, there's not really that much that I can do against it. Like, I can try to hop out of it with my one as I have done in the first scene of the game but there's not much that I can do afterwards so I opted in for the boots of speed to upgrade them to the Gilded Greaves just to get some more mobility in that first in those first minutes of the game the first half of the game um, I'm not too sold on the build that I have on Lugu I took it from the popular um, from the popular build so and I'm not really a Lubu player, like the last game that I had with Lubu, I was being pretty aggressive in the beginning. I was doing pretty well in the beginning as well, like I think it was on an 11-1 or something like that. And then that game took like 30 minutes or something, so that was like the longest game that I've ever played in the Arena of Valor series so far. And I just, I didn't want you guys to 
have to bear with me through 31 minutes so I delete the game without uploading it. At first I thought like let's do it for the community, let's show them some gameplay so that they will know um, when games change and when you will actually have the problem that some things go wrong so that you will have some kind of learning effect but I just figured out you can have that on a video like this as well and you will save yourself another 15 minutes of your lifespan to do with more valuable things than watching me lose the game in the end anyways so here we are back with the Lubu the new skin that I just obtained via the lottery um, I wanted to have the Hellfire skin for Adrian and that's what came out first I got the Lubu skin and now I have the Adrian skin as well and I think I'm gonna show that in the next couple of videos as well because I really dig Adrian at the moment there's Darcy, um, we're doing some damage, but just because of that ult, he's able to, to kind of flicker out. Um, of course, it's not a flicker, but the, that ult is pretty pretty good for repositioning yourself as well, if you see that the enemy is kind of backing off. I have to go back here again, like Talonas hits every single hit, every single of her abilities, and luckily there is no minion that could go into tower range and... I don't know what Zephyrus does here. Um, okay, he tries to he tries to go out as well. Now he's going back. Now he's going forth, and that tower is pretty much lost. Like there's nothing that we can do. And I um, I asked him to retreat, but yeah, that was pretty close again. Like it's a really it's a really tight game, and these moments where you are camping on the tower and you have a Yawn, you have a Darcy. Um, up against your lane and I'm lucky that they have been retreating that is something that I don't know how you guys feel about it but that's really intense like that's where my blood starts to boil where I think like oh my god I have to move I have to go back I have to and that's where I get really excited in the game and good thing here um Grok roots in Vera so we can finally get some kills in um resulting in a already 8-9 which I think was pretty lucky for us to to obtain um, I mean if Grok is able to hook a few heroes to get some lucky hits that goes in quite handy like that can actually save us and that can actually turn the turn the fight around but we get caught off here so often and my targeting is always pretty bad like I have to focus more on actually using my abilities to kind of kind of move out. I use the ability from Lugo here to hop into the towers, uh, to hop into the brushes, like that was my, that was really lucky here as well, but that could have been, that could have been worse. Um, had a good timing and fortunately for me, the enemy were not too, too good at, um, or too speedy and uh, getting me here, but that was as I said, I was lucky and I have to go out here. Like I can see that Aaron wants to wants to hook me, that she wants to stop me. I um, just catch another ult from Yawn whilst I was able to kind of dodge the other one. Like I didn't really dodge it. I was lucky that it didn't hit me because I did not do anything against it. And that that's nice. Like this is a nice situation. We're finally able to get back a little bit into the game. Um, they've put so much pressure on us and the only tower that we have been able to get so far is the tower in the top region. Grab misses a hook here. Um, Adam hooks me, doesn't really do that much to me and I'm able to pick her off quite easily. But the problem is we did not push, we did not push the mid tower. I think we should have put, tried to put mid tower here as we had the opportunity as the enemy was backing off and um, instead of that we were going for the Aram luckily for us the only cart minion like the, the bombardier minion wasn't able to do sufficient damage to our tower so it looks pretty much unthreatened but that could have that could have looked differently because we were greedy and we were trying to get the low Aram and that could have that could have looked um, differently if she would have backed off faster and as you can see we have got we've got some coordination problems like 
we do have some people trying to get out, we do have some people like, I don't know what Death is just up in the, in the top corner of the game, um, I don't know what his intention is, um, as I do a lot of damage, and Grok does basically no damage at all, I'm able to, to jump in and get a few kills, uh, same goes for this one, so, I'm right now on 5-2, I think I'm the one who has killed the most enemy heroes in the game so far, and this is the first opportunity where we have a free window to actually start and damage the tower. And that was the, that was the point of the game where I felt like, okay, this could be a turnaround. We have managed to get more kills than the enemy does, so we will have at least got some gold to close the gap between the enemy and us. But as you can see, we're not able to get into the, the core tower like there was... No, I think no damage at all that we did to, to the core tower and our core tower in the middle is already close to being gone forever as just the husk is standing there like you can just see the outline of the tower which means like the next hit is gonna the next hit is gonna t going to destroy it um, we are kind of running around the map right now looking for some play to make um, it looks like we could go for Darcy and Yawn I don't know what happens here, like, I'm going in here basically just to, to save my team, um, of course I know that I can't really kill them, I'm quite lucky here that I'm able to get away, and even better, I'm able to get the kill with basically zero health, um, I don't know what Darcy did here, maybe he had a lack or something, but I'm able to kill Darcy, now I have to back off because Aram is here, like there's not really that much I can do against her, like she has these spirit beasts flying around her and the only thing that I can actually do is just to just run away, um, but I think that I can do better and right now I'm going in, targeting here is bad as always, there was the struggle, like I was hitting the auto attacks and the game tried to force me to go into um, Aram and of course the combined forces of Vera and uh, Talonas. There's not that much that I can actually do against it and I don't think that there are many heroes who could actually have turned that around with that health that I had. Like I was basically dead and I don't know why I did retreat here. I thought that I could make a play but that was that was stupid. Those are the mistakes that beginners, am I a beginner? I don't know like intermediates or something do because you think you get too greedy, you got the game turned around a bit, like not that much, it wasn't a 30 to 15 turnaround that we were able to, to get, and now we have the problem that we are standing at the Abyssal Dragon, but with the long range of Yorn, that is always a difficult situation, like with the, if he ults and the dragon is low, and if he is a lucky guy shotting into, into your stuff, he can actually just easily turn that whole approach that you were putting so much time in into his favor by just killing the abyssal dragon and right now i'm i'm back into some sort of one versus three thing and uh, of course tulan can't do anything against them and as he has only two stacks on his two i think that's the max stacks there's not that much that he can do against that, so I don't know why we did that. Like, that was really, really, really bad team play. And, of course, that tower is lost. Like, what what, what reason would be there that Jorn do, does not get that tower? That was... He saw the window, he saw the opportunity. Of course, he went down middle lane, pushed it, and got that tower, because that is applying the first part of pressure on our team and as they have been like actually we have been quite good on pushing towers but the, the main problem is that they have the dark slayer and the dark slayer buff right now and that is going to cause us problems because now we have to deal with the middle lane and as you can see our team is split already again we have zephyrs who is now kind of camping in the brush waiting for I don't know whatever like I don't know what's going on what should happen there now he's rotating down but he can't really do anything against it because due to his uh, really short melee range 
he cannot dash in like he can't he can't do it um i'm exposing myself again i'm being caught by the darcy old pretty pretty unlucky pretty stupid as well and you can basically say that we we did just throw the game there um tell is already dead like i don't even in the in the second time i'm watching this video i can't even tell what happened to her like you got if you guys want to know you have to rewind and watch it again and this is game and i think we kind of made a really good move on uh turning the game around into our favor but then we had problems kind of finishing it putting some effort in the the last mile applying pressure to the enemy getting them into stupid positions and instead of that we did the stupid stuff and that was just basically we helped them to win the game by choosing fights that we could not win and that should teach you guys a lesson and um yeah you will see some lubu gameplay yeah mvp that doesn't mean anything like the game was a loss and you can see that the whole performance of the team wasn't that good here comes my quick buy and yeah guys if you want to see more videos like that or if you want to see better videos where i actually win just hit the subscribe button and there we go best performance and uh, yeah thank you guys i'm what of dust gaming and i'm out bye bye